Welcome back guys. In the previous video we did the registration step. If you haven't watched the video yet, then make sure you do it first. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is visit the website which is online-inspire.gov.in I'll leave the link down in the description below and once the website opens you have to log in to the online portal so for that you'll need to enter the email id that you provided and the password you created in the previous video click sign in never so this is the profile phase where you can apply for internship, fellowship but here we'll only be talking about the scholarship click on the apply scholarship link and this is what the application form looks like so here you'll need to fill up the application form and for that you'll need to click edit and enter your details like your father's name your mother's name and all the details here for the documents it is imperative that the requirements be met so for example for the photograph the formats allowed are on the jpg and jpg with a maximum size of 50 kb so if the requirements are not met then your document cannot be uploaded so here's our photo similarly for the tent certificate it should be in pdf file and size less than 1 mb so after you're done you will need to save this uh, here and now you can continue filling up the remaining details but make sure that you save your progress after every step because there are chances that the server may not work your internet connection may be lost and your uh, computer may crash in which case you'll need to start everything from the beginning so for the admission number it should be noted that you have to fill the college roll number unless you have a strict admission number provided by your college it should be your college roll number so i'm filling up the college roll number state where your institution is located university of delhi hindu yeah two hindu colleges either one of them will do i think delhi not delhi so for the endorsement certificate it should be in pdf format less than 1 mb save and then continue with the senior secondary information name of the board which is council passing year the rank in class 12 and your exam board roll number the eligibility note which is given to you by the board 12 marks it less than 1 MB and here you can add more rows according to the number of subject you have English so in this way you can continue filling up the entire details I'm not going to talk all about it here E1 Physics Chemistry Biology If you have any other additional subjects you can include that also in the this column so we have alternative English if you have more you can add more rows and enter your subjects so the school you studied it is important to fill all the details that are marked with a red asterisk the others can be neglected but it is better if you include them as well state 
Nani Four District Mfal. So after you're done, don't forget to save your progress. So this is how it looks like. So national level competition. If you appear, then you can edit. In this, in our case, we don't have any national level competitive examination details, so we are neglecting it. Enter your details, additional details here. Save and your contact information, which is basically your address. If you live in a different area, such as in a rent away from your home, then you have to enter a separate address for the communication address part. But if you live in the same area or it doesn't matter at all, then you can check this box. Save. Are you availing any other scholarship? No. Declaration. Then the place. Here, CAPTCHA verification is very important. If it's not legible, then you can rephrase to get a new image. You just have to type what you are seeing in that image. And then you submit. But once you submitted the form, you cannot edit it anymore. So make sure you check it twice. After that, you take a printout of your form. Which you can download by clicking here. And that's all. And after successful submission, you'll get a notification so with your reference number, which will be needed for future purposes. Now log out. So thank you guys for watching this video. If this video helps you, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.